And we're back with the one and only Dr. Oz. Good doctor is about to unveil a step-by-step -step plan to combat and reverse wrinkles. Good to see you again, Doc. Good morning to you. Okay, so this is a kind of an explainer about how our skin <laughs> works and, and wrinkles. It looks like a trampoline. Cut. Well, Taryn did so well on the quiz uh -oh. that I thought I felt it, in, in, that we would do this together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you just push on that a little bit, Taryn. Okay. Right? That's the fluffiness. That's Ooh. the elasticity we want to have in our skin. The reason that our skin balances is you have elastin and collagen. Mm. You've heard the word collagen. It's a sure. protein. But when your collagen is not being well taken care of because of sun exposure or aging, your skin begins to dimple like this. Mm. And nobody wants that. So what I'm going to do today mm -hmm. is walk you through the smartest advice okay. that we seem to be able to give to all Americans inexpensively to do just this, to rebuild the collagen so it's better than it was before. So you can reverse wrinkles. You can. You can. You're yeah. not going to, and by the way, you don't want to look like you're 20 when you're 60. That's not the point. No. You want to look really good yeah. at 60 or whatever age you happen okay. to be. Doc, let me ask you a question. You know, there's a, a saying we have in the black community, black don't crack. You know, people of color tend to wrinkle less. Is that, is that true? Is that 100 percent true? true. Really? When I see patients in my office, you know, I still operate one day a week. I, I'm no better now than I was when I started guessing the age of many of my patients who are African American. The reason is you're automatically wearing an SPF of 20 or 30, just because you have more melanin in the skin. So in Africa, it was really important to avoid extra damage from sun. But in North Europe, you wanted the sun to go through your skin to make vitamin D. Without vitamin D, we're prone to all kinds of illnesses. So the body beautifully adjusts. Over a few generations, your wow. skin color will begin to change as well, according to how much sun exposure you have. So Al and I are 300 years old. That's yes. Right. <laughs> you look so good. Well, we're your products. What do you have with products? Here? So moisturizer is the foundation of anything we're going to talk about. It's step number one for a bunch of reasons. It, it, it lubricates the skin in a way that's useful. Most people, I think, know that. They don't appreciate how fundamentally critical it is. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend is you get a moisturizer that's more of an ointment than a lotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ointments are a little thicker. So if you look oh. at them, you know, they got you know, a little thickness to them. Mm -hmm. They go on better for that reason. And I recommend you get one with an SPF of at least 15, but preferably 30. Wow. You can put it on in the morning. I put a moisturizer on twice a day. Me too. It was one of the best presents I ever got. Once in the morning, once Me in the too. evening. You know, you go to these department stores and you see these like really, yeah. really expensive moisturizers. I mean, can you use like, like a, a, a petroleum jelly-based moisturizer? Yeah, you can use inexpensive moisturizers, they're sure. And, you know, th there are drugstore chain products now that, you know, 15, 20 bucks at most. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're inexpensive. That will last you the whole month. It's the best investment you can make. The right. second best investment you need to make um, is something that has retinol in it. Now, retinol is available over-the-counter. Doctors will give you a higher dose prescription if they think you need it. But you can just go off and buy it inexpensively. Now, my mom, there's no medical way of doing this that's ideal. But my mom would always dot herself little polka dots all over her face, mm -hmm. okay. especially under the eye. Uh, and you want to do this once, maybe twice a week. Be mm -hmm. careful you don't do it too much if you notice redness yeah, or irritation. Yeah. Right. And I think this is better off than in the evening because if you do it in the morning, the sun denatures it. In the evening, you can be by yourself. You're not going to have toxic effects of chemicals in the sun influ influencing the retinols. Okay. I do retinol Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So gonna remember, oh. I do three days a week yeah. and at night. That's when I do it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at night. And, and, and then it's exfoliate it. Exfoliation is critical for a bunch of reasons. Yeah. It actually, you know, we talked about collagen back over there. Right. All the things I'm talking about change collagen levels. Mm. The retinols especially do it, really, especially with the higher doses. But exfoliation does it as well, which is why you should exfoliate at least once or twice a week. You don't have to spend a lot of money. All these things we're talking about, you should do every day, so they have to be affordable and right. inexpensive. Right. I asked you a question in the earlier segment about whether you should eat or apply your... You said both. Do both. Do both. This is an example of why that's so. You can take something like avocado, which has healthy fats, which the skin likes anyway. It actually has a little roughness to it. All the glycolic acids in the citrusy fruits and the, you know, the, the berries and the like, they, they have a little bit of, of, of the ability to irritate your skin just the right amount. So your skin responds to making more of the collagen to create that tamper, that uh, tam, uh, trampoline, trampoline effect that we had. Okay. So go ahead. You may do the honors. Um, what do you want me to do with just this? Just apply. Let's see, on your let's face? see what pattern you'd make on my face. Uh, I want to make sure. I, I'll do quality control here. Oh, oh my God, let's go here soon. I actually do one thing, one thing. You had high. one job. It's like being in the operating room. That's right. Can so, we get some chips over here? <laughs> What, really what is this doing to you other than a mess? So it's, it's something called glycolic acid, which is naturally present in a lot of foods. And when you apply it to your face and leave it there for 10, I'm 15 no minutes, I yeah, think. You're, you're doing two things. You're stimulating what glycolic, thank you very much, you're glycolic welcome. acid, um, a reaction in the skin. Uh -huh. But you're also, when you're washing this to face, you're also debriding a little bit of the old skin on the surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it allows the younger skin to reflect light more accurately. That gives you that shine, that life, that body that you want your skin to have. So and what, after your show today, you're going to be appearing in Wicked. That's yes. Really <laughs> <I'm> like, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
actually a good line. I love that. Okay, we got to get you cleaned up, Dr. Oz. All right, be sure to watch Dr. Oz minus the avocado facial. <laughs> Food investigation on his show today. We're learning more about what we eat and kind of get rid of these lines. So check your local listings. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.